Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongeth to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Waha Raka Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. And double honours to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that teach his truth well and that continue to teach his truth well. And to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few brothers and sisters listening and also learning across the globe in these times we're coming in there's going to be many deceptions there is many deceptions but there's going to be more okay more and more and more because Esau what's his whole MO his whole MO is to deceive is to have you believing and believing in a lie okay so we're going to go into a few scriptures this is not going to be a long lesson I want to say Salakia that I took so long to do this lesson I had another lesson prepared that was done but I accidentally deleted it but that was everything's of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh so he obviously didn't want that lesson coming out if I if I created a lesson and I deleted it accidentally then it's everything's by the will of Yahweh Shai so Lord willing this lesson will be edifying and I want to start off with 2nd Corinthians 2 and 11 because we're in some serious serious I can't stress it enough we're in some serious serious times and there's a reason why we have to be circumspect so we're gonna go to spare me just a minute got all these scriptures prepared we're gonna go to 2nd Corinthians 2 and 11 and it says lest Satan should get an advantage of us and who's Satan the adversary okay for we are not Ignorant of his devices. Okay. So the, how Satan gets a one up. Is when you're ignorant. And what does that word mean ignorant? Idiotos. In the Greek. To not know. So when you're not. When you're not. um, What's the word? Cognitive of a particular thing. It means you, you're ignorant. That means your guard is down. So then Satan has an advantage. Let's quickly go to that word Shatan. 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 An adversary. Okay. One who withstands. So even those that withstand this word, they're of Satan. Okay. It could be in general, personal. Satan. Okay. Arch enemy of good. So anybody that's against the good, anybody that's against Yahweh Shai, they're of Satan. Anybody that's trying to withstand this truth, anybody that's opposing this truth, they're of Satan. And the script says, we are not ignorant. Of his devices. And when you go into the word devices. It's Mashama. And what's Esau's device? He goes into it. His new world order. The RFID chip. And his devices. Okay. What's Esau's devices? His technology. His tech. Okay. His databases. His AI, AI system. So like here. AI. Artificial intelligence. The blue beam. The blue beam project okay the blue dream project if i'm saying it right and you got something called a hologram as you can see by this image Esau, he's going to be deceiving the masses and the scriptures told us that this would happen i quickly want to go to give me just a minute thessalonians 2 and 3 i know i went into the scripture earlier but i want to bring it out again Babakasha. Let's go to 2 Thessalonians 2 and let's go straight to start at 9. Okay. Even him who's coming is after the working of Satan. Who's he speaking of? Esau Edom. Okay. Everything he's doing, all the miracles he's doing is on the left hand side with all power and signs and lying wonders. Okay, so Esau, everything he's doing, all his tech. Who is he going to to inquire of these things to Satan? But not knowing that them not knowing that Satan works for the Heavenly Father. Bear me just a minute. And it says all lying wonders, and part of them lying wonders is also the Catholic Church. That's lying wonders. Okay. Bear me just a minute. 
quickly go into that word lying wonders. Strong's H, 6381. Palal. 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 And remember you look at this word, it goes into marvellous to be wonderful. So there's things that Esau does that would seem to the people as a miracle, but it's being done on the left hand side. Just like when you see a magician, the magician does tricks, but it's from the left hand side. It's wizardry. That's why the scriptures tell, tell us in Ezekiel 6 and 11, put on the whole armour that you may be able to stand. To be surpassing, extraordinary, separate by distinguishing action. To be on one's power, to be beyond one's power, to be difficult to do. Difficult to understand, extraordinary. So this is what Esau was going to start doing. Okay, but it was on the left hand side. Okay. See, the men of the Lord, they have wisdom on the right hand side. Okay, which is true wisdom. Because the scripture says the knowledge of wickedness is not, that's not, that's not wisdom. That's just the knowledge of wickedness, which is really going to lead you to your demise. Okay. And lying wonders. So let's go back to Matthew 24. We're well, not back to. Let's go to Salakia. Matthew 24 and 24. Bit excited. Matthew 24. I'm going to go straight to 24. Baba Kasha. And we're going to start on 22. And except those days should be shortened. And these days are being shortened. If if is it just me or is time speeding up? Time is speeding up. There should no flesh be saved. So if the days were shortened, that would mean time would have to be speeding up. That shall, there shall no flesh be saved. Because this man, he's running the earth into the ground. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So the days are being shortened. The days are quickening. Yahweh is coming for the elect. This is how much he cares for his elect. And if, if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Mashiach, or there, believe it not. Okay, because this is what you were going to have in these last days. Okay, you're going to have something called what hologram, and this is what Esau's going to do. For there shall arise false what Christ anointed messiahs and false prophets, and shall show great signs. And the false prophets, what does this stem from? The Catholic Church, okay, which is part of what them lying signs and wonders. That were working miracles and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible they shall de deceive the very elect so this is what Esau is going to be doing setting up images setting up holograms okay and it says if it were possible why because it's not possible to deceive the very elect behold I have told you before wherefore if they shall say unto you behold he is in the desert Go not forth. Because that's what people are going to be doing. This is going to be saying, yeah, the Messiah is here. And people are going to be going straight there. Go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers. Believe it not. Okay. And that's why we push that spirit of, you've got to be out on the highways and byways. Not, not, not hidden in the wilderness somewhere. Because the scriptures tell you, Yahweh will not be there. The prophets were out. They were teaching. And when John was baptizing, he was baptizing people, so people were around him. Because men like to say, well, John the Baptist, he was in the wilderness, yes. But he was working, he was working miracles, he was baptizing. He was teaching the words. He wasn't just doing it in thin air, there was people around him. So Yahushua is even telling us the signs of the last days of deception. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, behold, he is in the desert. That's why you're not supposed to be in some empty forest teaching. You're supposed to be where people are, the highways and byways. Go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers. Believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth into the west. Okay. So like as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so also the son of man be. Yahweh Shai, and this is referring to what? Israel's deliverance. For wheresoever the carcass is. Where will the eagles be gathered together? Okay. 
And immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light. And the stars of heaven shall fall from, and the stars shall fall from heaven. Okay, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. This is represent of Esau and his structure, his governmental structure. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. So the scriptures are telling you of the order of when Yahweh is coming. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds of heaven, even to the other. Okay? So these are just things to look out for. Don't do not be deceived, because we're in the age of what deception? You yeah, were in the age of information. But with that information, what you need discernment. With that information. Because if you don't, that's why the scripture says, with all that wisdom, get understanding. It's one thing quoting something, quoting, but if you don't have understanding, what good is it? So with this lesson, I really hope this was edifying. And until the next time, Shalom.